shots. Hmm. Johnny Gargano versus Bronson Reed for the North American title. I did write down the intangibles. They're not terribly wacky this time. Bronson's intangibles are agility and power. And Johnny's are adaptable endurance and ring IQ. Also, during this match, the casually announced, casually announced, oh, by the way, Pete Dunne versus Bobby Fish will also happen next week. Yeah. Would have been that hard to add that announcement as you're running down the card for next week earlier? Yes, Vinny. Little things like that annoy They can me. barely get it on the show half the time. It, it's like they forgot to add this match. They were that disorganized. They're scrambling to make it up as they go. So they're doing this match. The story of this match is Austin Theory is interfering constantly, and he's like half of Johnny's offense. I don't really want to rant. It's 2021. This is what cage matches are to people now. This is, there's a regular match with some metal around the place. But it takes, even forget it's a cage match, it takes me out of the match. If this guy is interfering 200 times and the refs don't stop him and Regal doesn't stop him and Bronson Reed doesn't have any friends to stop him, they just let him all get away with it. They may as well just book this as he handicapped match. It's the like, title why does this line. fucking guy get into the cage? He may as well have just gotten in the cage. I mean, clearly it's. The one thing, the one thing I did like about it is we do see this shit all the time in cage matches. It is a trope. It is annoying. But at the end of the day, Bronson Reed did foil Austin Theory. Yes. And he decisively, with no bullshit, proved that he was the better man and got the pin clean in the middle of the ring. It was not this escape the cage bullshit. Nope. It was not a bunch of guys run in and a, in a fact, weapon gets in the ring. He easily could have walked out of the cage and opted not to. He overcame the odds. Yes. He proved he was the better man in the middle of the ring. I liked it. That part was awesome. They worked their asses off. There was a lot of big stuff. This avalanche Samoan drop. Uh, the sunset bomb off the top rope that looked like it sucked for Bronson Reed. Uh, Poison Rana uh, that by Johnny, that Bronson Reed had jumped backwards and fallen on his head. Eventually, I don't even remember how, but they slammed uh, uh, Theory off the cage somehow. And oh, after all, all three guys, Johnny and Bronson, were standing on the top rope inside the cage. Theory had scaled the cage to the outside to be in their level. And I, I think Bronson bonked their heads together, so both heels fell, well, one to the outside, one to the inside. And Bronson follows that with a splash to Johnny's back. He stands up, walks over to the door, and could easily walk out, but in fact, he slams it shut instead. He goes to the top rope, hits a splash, and pins him. As the cage raises, there's big giant pyro going off. They did the biggest possible deal out of this they could. Bronson Reed, the new North, new North American champion. That part was very, very good. Yeah, it was. You know what else like, I liked about it was... You know how these WWE cage matches go. Besides all the interference and all the shit, mm -hmm. somebody's got to do a big move off the top of the cage. Also true. And I love Bronson Reed. He's a thick boy. Yeah. He does not need to be coming off the top of that cage. And you know what? As a fan, I was absolutely, completely, totally satisfied mm -hmm. with a tsunami to the back and another tsunami to the front, both off the top rope, not off the top of the cage. It was excellent. I liked yes. it. Yes. I didn't need him to risk his life coming off the top of that cage. Correct. Correct. So if you like WWE cage, cage matches, you probably like this one very, very much. Yeah, but at least this one had a happy ending. There was no heat. So it's actually it, better than 99% of cage matches in WWE. You got a point there. If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full-length shows. Down there on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that Join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the Join button, sign up today. You can also click Subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.